Hello, this is my new project. It is a slideshow project. It's called Fold and Unfold Slideshow. This project consists of 15 placeholders and 15 text holders. You can see here in the structure of the project that is the placeholder are in couples. Placeholder 1 with 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5 and so on. This project has a layer here with color controls for the basic and the secondary color, for the text 1 and text 2 color and a color opacity for the basic color. Let's see how you can customize this project. By double-clicking the first placeholder here, this reveals the transition of the placeholder 1 with the placeholder 2. The first placeholder is always in this uh, uh, brown color, while the next placeholder, the transition end, is in a green one. Double-clicking place, motion placeholder 1 or motion placeholder 2 reveals the placeholder here. The placeholder has some layers. I choose the first and the last placeholder to have this nice red texture. You can have your own photo or whatever you like. Maybe a logo here. So, this is the first line and this is the second line. You can edit this text very easily. So, we proceed after these brown layers, which is placeholder 1, we go to placeholder number 2. In placeholder number 2, you have the structure that you will meet in all the project from here. That means that you have the first line and the second line, as in placeholder 1. You have the basic and the secondary color. Let's see what is the basic and what is the secondary color. The basic color is the red one, which we find in the color controls. And the secondary color is this line, which is also in the, sec in the uh, color controls. So, basic and secondary colors, you can find them in color controls. And the first and the second line text colors also. So here you can place your own uh, your own, own image. Let's put an image here for my. So you scale it, or you can do it like this. There is no animation in this uh, placeholder in this comp. So, after placing that image, this image goes to placeholder, uh, to this motion placeholder number 2, who has some motion here. You can change this motion. And goes in the transition in every green layer. That's how we change a placeholder. This happened to all the placeholders here. Let's see another one. Let's go to placeholder number 5 to 6. We can see in the brown uh, color is placeholder number 5 and in the green color the transition out placeholder number 6. So, by double clicking placeholder number 5 or number 6 we can edit these placeholders. We edit the text, the first line, the second line, or maybe if we like to move in a different position, this, let's call it lower third, we can place it in, in here. I have, in every placeholder, choose to have these guides here in order to help, in order to help you place this lower third. That's because 
it will be more nice to the animation, but you can put it whatever you like. Okay. So, for another time, you delete the placeholder image and have your own image here. You can scale it or maybe you can have two images here. Why not? You can have two images here, as you see. You can put whatever you like. You can even put video here. So, here we have two images instead. And let's see. So, you can see here we have both images for this. Okay. So, every Every placeholder has the same structure and changes with the same style in the same way. I remind you that this project has color controls. For the basic color, let's change it to a green one. Okay. Has a secondary color, which is this line. Let's go to another frame to see that line better. This line here. Let's say we like to have it yellow. And we can change the color for the first line text and for the second line text. Like this. And this slider has an opacity control for the main color, for the basic color. So, changing the slider here you have opacity control for the main color. If you like the music I have used here in this project, there is an audio placeholder, so by double-click and placing the Soulful Demo Downtable Lounge, you can have the edit like in my project preview. So, for another time, thanks for watching and have a good day.